Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you just a fun and cool project I have been working on. It is nothing special, it's just a pulse motor over here and a generator over here. I have a running already because as always it takes a lot of time for it to get up to speed. I'm running it from the grid. The grid is going to this uh, El Cheapo uh, variac over here and uh, the output is AC going to this bridge rectifier and then going to this uh, meter span over here and you can see I am running it now at 6.6 .6 volt DC at yeah it's almost or you can say exactly 600 milliamps which is roughly around yeah 3.5 um, 96 watts almost 4 watts um, yeah don't know what to say about it the drive circuit there's not much to say about it the drive, uh, the drive circuit is in there it's just a uh, MOSFET and a uh, end channel MOSFET a uh, small general transistor and the whole sense over here there's a timing wheel, 12 pole rotor as the uh, drive rotor or the pulse motor with uh, three sets of coil of each side. <coughs> Here I have a, a flywheel as always. I do like to use them. And there is the rotor itself with a uh, yeah, a little bit crazy core, snake away core. These are two rotors, both are uh, 24 uh, pole and the coils are fixed like this in there. There are two coils, one over here and one over here. Without a core it won't work of course <coughs> because uh, as you can see the lines of the wire, the magnet field cannot cut the lines when it's like this. Uh, if you put it like this it will and like this also but not like this. I have two of them new. now as you can see they are coupled in series over here and yeah you can also work with one complete coil but like always I was lazy so uh, I used two coils. Uh, it is basically wired up like uh, a three phase generator there are nine coils um, three sets of three coils in total uh, they are all uh, in series and the output is over here I have one LED on each output these are uh, I think they are rated 30 milliamps uh, LEDs at this moment not in spectacular I will make a video when I put all the output to this bridge rectifier it is a little bit big but it's easy for me to work with this one and then see what the output is if it any uh, let me show you in the dark output is still 6.6 .6. yeah wiggle it a bit around 6.5 but let's say 6.6 .6. there's a light of the LEDs at the rooftop it's pretty bright as you can see given a lot of light so there is some energy coming from those coil uh, the RPM is not much I don't have my meter with me now because I'm now down in the laboratory the meter is upstairs but uh, looking at it yeah it's not doing that much I think around yeah 500 or maybe 750 but not more Anyway, we'll look from this side at the generator. And for those that want to know, the core is made out of this flexible spring you can find in any DIY store uh, at the electrical section. They use this, or you can use this, to bend PVC pipe in any form you like without the walls um, getting flat on you very good stuff 
highly magnetic so it's uh, perfect for uh, making cores wish I knew that before uh, so yeah gonna uh, unplug everything it is now solely running on its own um, momentum unplug it over here also it is not connected anymore And the um, the relationship between the uh, magnetic field or the magnets and the core, in the case of eddy currents, is not that bad. And cogging effect also is not that bad, as you can see. It does keep spinning for a pretty long time. There's no input. Still spinning away can show you also in the dark as you can see pretty decent output from these three LEDs they're still spinning away so uh, the balancing between the magnets and core I got that pretty good Eddy currents also pretty good and Lamb's law more doesn't seem to be much but maybe it is because the output isn't that much at this moment but still pretty good anyway uh, that's about it for this time hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching